He got double air fireball. What? He could throw out two of those? That combo is so sick. Oh, that all comboed? Oh, 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 oh. Look, look at this. Look how he was just, just defending in the air. Look at this. It's like an air parry. And when we get to Otaro, we can talk about like what her hidden super is and everything like that. Or, you know, maybe. Oh, my God. This game is going to. Yo. Did y'all see that? And I promise you, right now, I'm calling it. There's going to be a lot of people on Twitter once this game launches. Where they're going to be like, oh my god, man. This game is trash. They need to nerf JD. It's too overpowered. It's too scrubby of a mechanic. This, that, and the third. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm about to quit fighting games. Get out your feelings. Fighting games are not designed to be fair. It is designed for you to win. To cook your opponent. It's smug with the greatest of ease. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been announced. They are releasing a new Fatal Fury game, City of the Wolves. And they have a trailer for us to watch and we are about to react. Let's see what we are getting ourselves into. Okay, I see an arcade cabinet. Okay. SNK. Yo, my man Terry. And Rock Howard. Try to keep up, all right? Start your journey. Ooh, early 2025. Pretty much after when this year ends, expect them to show more footage of this game. Nah, this is going to be crazy. I didn't think they would ever remake this game. Because on Fightcade, like, I love playing, like, these classic fighting games. And I started playing, like, Garu, and I was getting into Fatal Fury, and I'm in, like, a... Uh, What's the other game? The Art of Fighting. Like, all of these games are actually good. They're really good games. They're great games. And Fatal Fury, I love that game. And so is this more... I don't know. Is this Fatal Fury only? Because it's a City of the Wolves. That's like Garu. Because Garu, that's kind of like a... as like a parry mechanic system in a way. I think this is going to be fire. You said SNK made some banger fighters back in the day. They did, yeah. Garu is Fatal Fury 3. This is Fatal Fury 4. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you for telling me that. Okay. I, I, it's not like I was confused, but I just didn't really know. Because I thought it was just two two different games. But okay. And, and what, what else they got? Wasn't it like another trailer y'all wanted me to watch? It was this one, right? Ooh, this one is two minutes long. All right. The longer the video, the better. All right. Gonna take you for a ride. Who doesn't love Rock Howard? Come on. Fan favorite and Terry Bogard. Y'all know that's one of my favorite characters. I main Terry in King of Fighters. Oh, this character, Cheap. This character, Cheap. Hotaru? Oh. Got, it's Tizok, right? He's the grappler. Yo, I love the graphics. Preacher? I know I like the graphics in this game. 
Oh, I love that command grab. Ooh. Wow. It looks like a cartoonish slash realistic effect at the same time. <clears throat> oh. Oh, okay. Ooh, the Buster Wolf, okay. This character gonna be top tier, I, I'm calling it, I'm calling it. Oh, oh. She gonna get people salty. Oh, oh, yeah, this the grappler. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, that's if you jump? Okay. Man. It's like a comic book cartoon effect. I like this. I love the graphics. City of the Wolves. City of the Wolves. Early 2025. I think 2025 is going to be a great year. It's going to be a great year. I like the art style. I, I like what they did. I, I actually like it. You know, I thought I was wondering if they were gonna remake one of these games. Are they gonna have like an old cartoonish effect, or like what are they gonna do? You know, I was very curious how they're gonna remake this game because this game came out in the '90s, right? When did this game come out, Garu? I think, yeah, this is a '90s game, around the time when they made like um, King of Fighters and stuff. All of the like, like in the '90s for sure. 90s and like maybe early 2000s. During the King of Fighters era, pretty much. That's when they made like Garu. And yeah, like when I played Garu myself, man, I, if you guys love Third Strike from Street Fighter, you guys would be quite at home playing Garu, uh, Mark of the Wolves. So I wonder if they're going to have a, the parry mechanic in this game. I don't think I've seen it in the trailer, but they didn't show everything. They just showed the characters' combos and moves, you know, just to get the community hyped up. So I, I like what they're doing. They didn't show too much, but I like how they, they still have it. Like, they showed it. Oh, y'all saying that they have it in the game? Word? They do have parries? All right, cool. Because the reason why they I love parry mechanics, because, like, that's where the big brain moments come into play. That's where the high-level players stand out. They shine like a shooting star. Pew! You know? You're saying Justin Wong's video shows a lot more? Really? Focus attack. Oh, this video, 40 minutes long. He got inside knowledge of the game? Like, what? He helped create this game? What? Hold up. Let me find out. I'm telling y'all, Justin Wong, he's in the Illuminati. Like, he he gets early access to everything. I promise you. Focus attack. Your point of armor. Rev up, bro. Oh, it even has the slowdown? It has the drive. It even has, like, the drive impact slowdown? Nah, level two does a lot. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he choked. Nah, that combo was sick. You said this reminds me of Marvel 3 a lot with the looks. That's what I was saying. It remi like if you guys came from Marvel vs. Capcom 3, with it has the similar graphic effect. it gives you that kind of like special move that every character has, but they also changed it. What's that what's that karate dude that fights kind of like Ryo? What's his name? White robe. Mm. Mm. 
also added something new. Uh, I don't know if we'll get to see it. It's called Hyper Defense. Hyper Defense. Remember that, Chad. Hyper Defense. You actually can parry. It's like a red parry, pretty much. You two frames, that's what the developer said. Uh, two frames to red parry. And from there, that's actually pretty darn awesome. So, like, if you're, if you're since you see that there's a guard bar and everything like that, you know, you obviously want to defend, the, defend yourself, right? Uh, mm. So you can tap forward or down forward to, to like, uh, pretty much red parry, but call it hyper defense. Uh, guard cancel is in here, so if you do just defend and hyper defense, you can do guard cancel, um, you know, to into the special move and everything like that. And you see all these combos that you're seeing right now? Look at that. Look at that combo, bro. Yeah. So like, yeah. hold on, hold on, Justin Wong. I'm, I'm going to let you finish, but... Like this is why Garu is such an amazing game. Look at look at this combo this person did with Rock. Look at this. Uh, pretty much red parry, but oh, hyper defense. Look at this. Uh, guard cancel is in here, so if you do just defend and hyper defense, mm. you can do guard cancel. Ah 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 ah. Look at that combo. That combo is ridiculous. That combo right there, for example, I just have to tell you about it. That combo is called Rev Excel. Rev Excel. Rev Excel. So pretty much you're canceling EXs into EXs into EXs into EXs. What? So, uh, EX, EX, uh, EX, EX chat? Of, like, Kingdom Fighters 14, 15 with like max meter and everything. So you just start out with max meter out from the gate. Right, you start out out from the gate and you see that meter that says overheat on the Overheat. Bottom. So and everything like that. Or, you know, maybe they'll show Ooh. it. So now... Oh, no, 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 hold on. hold on. I'm listening to Justin Wong, my bad. L look look at this. Look how he was just, just defending in the air. Look at this. It's like an air parry. And when we get to Otaro, we can talk about, like, what her hidden super is and everything like that. Or, you know, maybe... The oh, my God. This game is going to... Yo. Did y'all see that? I think that went over y'all heads. They'll show it. Look at this. And when we get to Otaro, we can talk about, like, what her hidden super is. So, like, that's what I'm saying. If you guys ever played Third Strike... It's literally going to be kind of like the same. Just look at this. Like look at this. Ah, ah, ah. And you get a punish. So now, that's what I like. That's what I like. That That's going to be amazing. I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you guys play, like, Third Strike and stuff like that, you're going to have all kinds of big brain moments in games like this. Oh! And everything like that. Oh! Max mode. And I thought that was really cool. Um, obviously, it's very situational. Not very, not too situational, but still situational because you have to be an SPG bar. You have to have two meters. So it's, it's definitely one of those things where, like, it could be the round two, round three. Oh, no, this game is going to be godlike. And everything takes rev. Even when you're blocking, when you block stuff, you, it, it causes you to overheat. So blocking is bad. Hmm. Too, so you gotta be careful. Imagine that. Blocking is bad. Think about that. Oh. Any rev so that's that's so so you can't use any ex moves. You can't do rev flow. You can't do rev push block. Um, mm. And now he takes his guard bar, so he has to be careful because that's when he becomes a guard fresh state. Mm. It's like you know, pretty much literally like you can break anybody's guard. So I thought that was really cool. Um, There's just like this game just has a lot of tools. I think just trying to remember everything was the, the tough part. You can also cancel EXs and EXs, uh, which is pretty cheap because it makes it make a really cheap block string and everything like that. It is a four button game, A, B, C, D, but it actually becomes six buttons because your 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 like your heavy punch button, where like if you're playing Street Fighter, that's like kind of like your your guard your like guard button. Oh, okay. Like a shield. Like look at like it's just the move set. I'm just looking at the gameplay right now. This game just looks amazing just to look at. Imagine how the other stages are going to look. That was one thing I wanted to uh, give props to why I also love Garu. Because when I play Garu, the stages are... They all look really cool, actually. They look really cool. All of the stages. Yo, chat, am I capping? Anybody here that played Garu, type in the number one if... Garu had some amazing fighting stages. I want to know who I'm talking to because I, I, I know I'm not the only one. The stages 
I ain't gonna lie. I could play the game on mute. No sound, just look at the background. They got stages with like waterfalls and stuff like that. Like they, they got a lot going on. What's that one stage they have? Where's a bunch of cars? Hold up, hold up. Let me find that. Like, look how cool it looks. All the cars in the background. Like, it's it's a lot going on in these, like, 2D fighting games. That, that's kind of why, like, I'm waiting for a return. Because, look at, like, stages like this, it just looks pretty. You know? So, that's why, like, I'm looking forward to see how the stages are going to look in the new Fatal Fury. Because if I see stages like this, I'll forget about it. I'm not going to know what's going to be the stage I will have when I run into somebody in rank match. And that's another thing. A lot of these classic uh, fighting games, they didn't really have like an online system. You just had to play in the arcades. So that's why I'm glad they're making like a new version. So, you could, you know, you can play against people online. And I think it's going to be really dope, honestly. Like, it's going to be really cool. So that's why I'm saying like, and remember, they're going to have more characters to show. They only showed, like, three to four characters. That was it. And you're already, like, into the game. So, and they got the cool combos, special effects, fighting moves, just defend, all kinds of stuff that's going to be in the game. Bro, look at this fighting stage. Hold on, hold on. Yo, they had, like, another one. Like, you're fighting, like, on a train? And it, while it's moving? Like, come on. Like... You can't even be mad at this. And then they got the water in the background with the sunset, with the clouds. Somebody somebody drew that with a pencil. You know how much skill that takes? Oh, yeah. Imagine if they bring this character back. Hoku tomorrow. Like, imagine, like, this character return. This is like a ninja with, with the throwing out the, the kunais and shurikens and all kinds of stuff. You know, I think that would be cool. So they're fighting at a carnival. Like, this stage is pretty cool. And you know what they should add? They should add, like, a night version of each stage. Like, imagine the fighting at the carnival at night, right before it's about to close. Like, like 10 or 11 at night, that would be fire. I love looking at that mechanic, just defend. It's literally like a parry. And if you get real nice with it, I would be jumping all day. If, if I mastered just defense, oh, forget about it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. That beat, that blows up throws? Let me find out. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you see Justin Wong's reaction, he's like, oh. <laughs> look at this, look at this, look at this. Look, look. Oh. <laughs> look, at the end of the day, I can't wait for them to show more footage of Fatal Fury City of the Wolves. 2025 is going to be crazy. Yes, stay tuned for that, for sure. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will keep you guys updated with more Fatal Fury content, for sure. Yeah. <laughs>